do you know that before I got confused on how to pronounce these words just like this one? How do you pronounce this one? What about this one? Can you pronounce it? Hmm? What about this one? So in this video, you are going to learn how they are really pronounced correctly. Stay tuned! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Roby. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and click the notification bell for more updates. There are some words that we thought we are pronouncing incorrectly, but actually they are correct. It's just that some of the words are being pronounced in American English, and some of them are being pronounced in British English. This time, I'm going to share 20 common words and how they are being pronounced in British and American English. So first, I'm going to share how the word is pronounced in American English and how it is pronounced in British English next. But to tell you, I'm not really a fluent or I don't really have the 100% American accent or British accent. I just want to try and to illustrate the differences of these words and how they are being pronounced. Okay, so let's start. Let's have the first word. Hmm? So how do you pronounce that? Let's begin in American English. Can you say that again? Yes, correct. So in American English, this word is pronounced as water. Water. Yes, water. How about in British English? So in British English, water is pronounced as water. Am I saying it correctly? Wota. So letter T is really pronounced and it's very clear. Wota. Wota. Now let's have the second word. Can you pronounce that? Let's have first in American English. Okay, so in American English, it is pronounced as tomato. Tomato. Am I saying it correctly? Tomato. In British English, it is tomato. Tomato. So if you hear someone saying tomato, it's still correct. However, it's in British pronunciation. Tomato, tomato. So let's have the third word now. Can you pronounce the word? So in American English, it's advertisement. Advertisement. British pronunciation, advertisement. Advertisement. So the difference is the easement and the easement and also the stressing. In American English, the stress is in the first syllable that is advertisement. And in British English, the stress is in the second syllable that is advertisement. Yes, but they are both correct. So let's have the fourth word. Can you say that? You are correct. 
in American way, it is pronounced as either. Either. In British, it's either. Either. So either, either. They are both correct. Now let's have the fifth word. So the same with the previous one, Americans say this as neither, neither, just like the word either, neither, and British say it's neither, neither, they are still both correct. Let's have the next word. Can you pronounce it? Very easy. So Americans pronounce it as schedule schedule British pronounces that schedule schedule next word can you say that again in American English it's mobile mobile in British it's mobile mobile Mobile, mobile. So they're still both correct. Americans say address, address. So the stress is on the first syllable. Address, address. In British, it's address, address. So the stress is on the second syllable. Again, okay, so Americans say herb, herb, so H is silent, herb, but in British, it's herb, herb, they pronounce letter H, yes, herb, herb. What about this word? Americans say garage. Garage. So the stress is on the second syllable. Garage. In British, it's garage. Garage. So the stress is on the first syllable. Garage. Garage garage so this one before I really got confused how to really pronounce it correctly but either way actually is correct so Americans say semi semi British say semi semi so I said before semi it was actually correct and semi is also correct semi Semi. Pronounce it. Okay. Americans say it's route. 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 In British, it's root. Root. So, ow sound in American, which is route. Ooh sound in British, which is root. I actually use the word or the pronunciation route all the time. Route, root. So I often pronounce it as vitamin. 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 So the way I pronounce it is in American English vitamin but British pronounce it as vitamin vitamin so some of my students before they pronounced it as vitamin so they were also correct yeah vitamin in English American English vitamin in British what about this one Okay, Americans say it's leisure, leisure, leisure. 
British say leisure. Leisure. This one. People really want this one. And I think we need it all the time. Americans pronounce it as privacy. Privacy. I. Privacy. British. Privacy. Privacy. So instead of saying pri, they say pre. Privacy. American. Privacy. British. If I say simultaneous, is it American or British? Simultaneous. Yes, it's American way. Simultaneous. So in British, it's simultaneous. 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 What about this one? So Americans say and, and, British, aunt, aunt, American and, British, aunt. So you can pronounce it, you can pronounce it either way, and or aunt. This word. Americans' pronunciation is vase. Vase. But in British, vase. Vase. It sounds interesting, right? Vase. 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 Second to the last word. So in American pronunciation, it is era, era, e, era. British, era, era. Now let's have the last word. And I think this is the best description of my heart right now. Heart. Okay. So in Americans, they say it's fragile, fragile, oh, fragile. In British, it's fragile, fragile. So, oh, I'll, fragile, fragile. So you can say fragile and also fragile. I hope you learned something from my video this time. Remember, some words are pronounced differently, but they are still both correct. It's just that it's in British and in American way. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Roby and see you on my next videos.